Hello everybody and welcome back to our third and final installment of our first camper van trip. Last time we managed to get the van unstuck thanks to the National Trust, explored some of the new forest, tried to head to our next campsite but it was completely flooded and had to come up with a contingency plan which is where you join us now. As you can see the River Avon is completely flooded at the moment. I don't even know where the river is supposed to be. the next day um, it was a lovely night's sleep last night went to bed about half 11 12 but I actually slept yeah I had a better sleep as well yeah well it was windy I could hear the wind behind the but Andy didn't snore so much last night it's funny because yeah. it's annoying because I'm just reading my book ready to go to sleep and then it goes yeah, it always falls <laughs> asleep when you're about to go to sleep which is weird because usually it's up to like two, three o'clock in the morning. But yeah, not the moment. But, so we had a better night's sleep last night. Let's hope, let's hope we don't get stuck this morning, guys. I think yeah, we're all right. Yeah, we'll be all right. <laughs> but it is actually a little bit of a nicer day today. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not, not raining. raining that's the, the main thing. And yesterday, it was raining when we went to look at the pepper box. Yeah, it's just started to drizzle a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Fingers anyway. crossed. Yeah. Well, we had a no lovely night's sleep. Not disturbed here down. Um, I forgot the name of the road. <laughs> it's just a little dirt track near Ringwood. Yeah. Um, just through the drone. Avon is completely flooded, as you see. Oh, crikey, yeah. Is, we're, yeah. We're, I'm glad we didn't attempt to go through no. that. Can you imagine <laughs> us going down there and then suddenly the water level rises <laughs> and then going, the van's flooded? We'll be floating down the Avon. Mm. But yeah, it was a good good little spot here. Yeah, so there's nice. loads of dog walkers about. But, um, it's nice to wake nice. up to about four or four horses near you. Yeah, it is actually driven now. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. Well, hopefully, it doesn't really matter as long as we're it... going in some dense woodland today. We're going yeah. to ancient woodland. We're going to see the giant. What are they called? Cicadas. Red. Giant yeah, red. red. Giant reds. Yeah. Giant reds. Um, and we're also going to see the nightwood oak, the famous nightwood oak. Um, and then we're probably maybe stop off at a couple other places and make our way down to Tanner's Lane on the coast. Yeah. And hopefully we can park there. If not, I do have a backup. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to park near the beach, not on it though. Um, near the sea. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go and enjoy it. Go and enjoy it. Oh. Today we're really diving into the heart of the new forest and heading to the ancient Nightwood Oak. And after that, we head to the giant reds. Bye. 
that way. Yeah. yeah. It's not that way though, I remember, I've been here. We're at the Nightwood Oak now. You know, I thought I'd go somewhere different than I haven't been, but I've already been here. But I just thought I'd have to show you this, because it's a uh, really ancient oak, 500 years old. I mean, it's not the oldest, by like half. There's one in Lincolnshire that's a thousand years old. But anyway, this one's still impressive. Um, but uh, yeah, I came here on my Z4 2020, I think. Um, yeah, we just thought we'd have a little stop off here, have a little look at the uh, Nightwood Oak. And then we go down to the giant uh, red of California. No, not really. They're a bit smaller than that. So this is the Nightwood Oak, and it's the largest and most famous oak tree in the New Forest. It's also known as Queen of the Forest, and it's over 500 years old, and has a girth of 24 feet. It was pollarded when it was about 200 years old, which is a pruning system which involves removing the upper branches of a tree to promote the growth of a dense head of foliage and branches. This dead oak tree here was probably a child of Nightwood Oak and for some reason died before it. Oh, look at the size of that oak as well. I don't often see this many ancient like trees. Right, down, is it Ryanfield or Ryanfield? I'm not sure. Ornamental Drive. Um, and this is where the giant cicadas. I feel at the moment, giant Douglas firs. I feel like I'm in a different country. You know, I'm not used to seeing this sort of thing in the UK. <laughs> but yeah, look at the size of these things. I know. Douglas Fair and it's at 2 Broadwood Road, Dunster, Minehead. 
Oh, mine head. What the hell is it doing at mine head? On the top of it yet, Josh? Mm, smell of vision. If you only had that, can't beat it. Can't beat any outdoor smell of a, like a forest, can you? Well, that means I keep out in the car. Mm, so it's even nicer. Oh, Look at that one with all the branches. <laughs> I'm looking around, but there's loads of branches everywhere. This one here, she likes. Yeah. He's trying to find the light, isn't he? Mm. <laughs> Little saplings. It's crazy how you think they eventually can grow. They can grow to that. It would do that, wouldn't it? We have more redwoods in Britain than they do in California now. <laughs> yeah. But they're Either. a lot bigger there, the ones that are left there. Oh yeah, they're a lot more ancient, bigger, mm. but yeah, and one's got a road going through it yeah. in California. They've had to build the road through the through the redwood tree. Yeah. You're not gonna see anything like that in the UK. No. <laughs> By the time you get to California, it's quite warm most of the time there. They get a longer growing season, so they grow quicker and bigger. Now this particular giant red is obviously not native to the UK. They, bloody well they were are. actually brought over in the 1850s and planted here as part of the Rhinefield Ornamental Drive. The tallest of these two giant reds is 51 meters tall, but in California, they have been measured to get to 90 meters, almost double. The fun fact is though, there is more giant reds in England now than there is in California. For a brief second it came out. And they uh, repair it all. Oh, they just come out of hibernation? Yeah, on a warm day. In the winter, they hibernate, they go underground and they stay under there. Wood ants. But because it's been disturbed, knocked over, blown by winds, they'll come out, they'll start feeding, they'll start repairing it all, build it up into a nice mound again. Oh, look at them all. Mm -hmm. Get close enough to get a mouthful. You can see them, look, carrying needles. See some of them? See, carrying pine needles. See him. We're just having our lunch here on this bench. Got a little stove just there. Don't think that's going to cause a wildfire somehow. <laughs> I've been camping out here and using fire since I was near like before you were born. Yeah. As long as you're sensible. Mm. Well, the boys are having a Egg and bacon sandwich. Yeah, never wrong. And I'm having a crisp sandwich. <laughs> I said, perhaps you'll be making. Um, oh, you just put all I saw was that, that. 
I can tell if there's sugar in it. You, you just put that. sugar in her cup. Do that. Why? She doesn't like sugar. And she can't have any trace of sugar in there. Sugar. No. She's um. Oh, I need your cup. Oh, you're just having that. Huh? You might well. I've got your mayonnaise. Like to put a bit of mayonnaise. Look, mayonnaise is a bloody crisp sandwich anyway. Hey? <laughs> Kettle's on the boat. Hmm. Guys. I was going to get a camping kettle the other day, but it was eight quid. <laughs> I got back the road, so I didn't bother. Got a couple of sausages in there cooking away. Whoop! Out in the new forest. In the what? The old forest. Got some cheap bacon as ours. Misshaped bacon. <laughs> yeah, there's some good slices. Yeah. Two nice. slices, enough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's big enough, aren't they? <laughs> oh. We're actually going to step away from nature now and head to Lynnhurst and do some urban exploring. We're in Lind Lindhurst now. Yeah, we're in Lindhurst now. Mm. This is where when, when I was a kid I used to come here. We used to um, park up here, look at the um, New Forest ponies. Very popular. Lindhurst, lovely little place. Yeah, we just drove through, but we're going to have a little walk through. Try, try to find to the, the butchers. butchers. Yeah. There's there's a used to be a, yeah, there used to be a lovely butchers here. It used to do venison sausages. Mm. Yeah. A couple of tractor shops as well. Yeah. Have a little nosy. Yeah. Um, but this is free parking and yeah. pay parking, and I don't know why people. Oh. I mean, it's like a couple of extra meters. Not very often you get free parking anywhere these yeah. days. So it's quite good. Let's get all that. Kind of an eyesore. I think that used to be a hotel, I think. The tallest one I've seen, that is. Monkey yeah, puzzle tree. Really. Well, oh, she might have to go in there. Oh, look at the cupcakes. Ice cube cupcakes, Diane. Cupcakes. Yeah. If I went in there, they would instantly reject me. How much does it say it is, that one? 379,000 pounds. <laughs> you get a house for that. Yeah. Well, that's what I want. Screw the Z4. Have you seen the price of that? Yeah. So I can see 30. For a 1972, that's Dad's age. That's £359,000. Yeah. yeah. It's closed. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately the butchers is permanently shut down. But we can still look around some charity shops. Remember us up on the wall fishing? And there's a little tiny beach in here where we go out for a swim. Oh, we might have to bit now while we're waiting. Where are your dad's gone? I just got in this shop, found some nice shoes for dad because he needs some new shoes, but it's cash only. Um, you get a whopping. Four, you get four bits. That'd be two bits for me and one for you, dad. Oh my god. <laughs> four bits for a fiver, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the maple and pecan. Maple and pecan. Mm. Delicious. That's really nice. Wow. That is nice. I can't right? read that large oh. can <laughs> Time to go in the sweet shop <laughs> now. This is very Very traditional in here. Yeah? Um 
Oh my god, they were oh, going crazy sorry. in there. So I had a nugget. Yeah, I, I love nuggets. And I had a hundred grams of acid drops and I let the boys have two hundred and fifty grams. Yeah, two hundred grams. Oh thank you very much, guys. They had all different stuff. Out. We found this hub on the side of the road and uh, I wonder if it fit the van. Wow. That looks nice. See? Perfect fit. <laughs> and that fit there is for your... Maybe you could find a part number on it. That there is... I can't get it out at the moment, but for your air valve in there. Right, so we had a nice little oh, visit to Glimhurst. Even though there's no butchers there now. Yeah. Butch no, all the butchers. There was two originally and they've all closed. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's one taken over I think of that, that whole one there. Well, me and Jim used to go there all the time for camping, getting sausages and... It's all oh. been about 40 years ago now though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's so all supermarket crap now, isn't it? We're actually going to drive to the coast down to the beach. Hopefully, we're going to go to Tanner's Lane. Hopefully we can park down there. You can park on the beach, but I don't know if we're going to risk that. No, yeah. not after the problems we've had. It's just the little lane down there, there's only one spot really that's appropriate to park. Um, but we're, gonna, we're driving through the New Forest now, we could have gone through Brockenhurst and uh, through Limington. Limington, but we decided to go through, what's it called? Bewley. Bewley, yeah. Bewley. And down that way. We have finally got the sun out, a bit of solar coming it's in. It's quite there. a famous Melbourne museum at Bewley. I ain't going there. Well, I don't worry about that. I've been there once, but I go there for the yeah, lake. Oh. Interesting. Now we're going to head to our final location from Lynnhurst down to Tanner's Lane. A little lane that takes you down to a very quiet hidden gem beach where you can actually drive onto the beach, but of course we will not be trying that today. We just have a quick stop off at Beaulieu here and it's a French name meaning beautiful place. I think the river here actually becomes tidal as it goes into the Solent and when we drove past this pool the next day it was halfway down so I think this might be tidal too which is strange because it's so far inland. Us as well. I know, well, I'm thinking there's a car there as well. So. What happened there? Dodgy pothole there. I can't help it, there's a car parked there. Should Lucky you don't have the really. Right down here. Lucky you don't have the really long wheelbase, isn't it? Exactly, it would be screwed down here. You'd have to revert. My god, that was a palaver. That was a. <laughs> I can't tell you, that was a right palaver trying to turn around. Yeah. Oh. That's the Isle of Wight, yeah. I think the place the Isle of Wight. Look what's there, Mum. Glove. Yeah, see, this is a new sign. They've came down and even ruined this now. <laughs> you know, people used to come down here, drive onto the beach and park there. They can't even do that now. Little fossils. Found a fossil. You get a lot of fossils in the flint. Flint forms around fossils. And sometimes you can find, like the uncertainty, you can find prehistoric shark's teeth. Yeah, no, yeah. Marshland. Mm. And that's, that's Marsh Sandfire there. That far. That marsh Sandfire. Marsh Sandfire, yeah. It's not as good as Rock Sandfire, but you can still eat it. It's a bit salty. Oh, look at it! It's 
Oh yeah, when I turn round here, I think I not won the post of the front of the van. It's funny because funny, just seen an ordinary car try and turn round, and he done loads and loads, and I've just managed to turn this <laughs> round. But I'm, I'm not. I just had a job. Oh, look at the number plate. I think I must have mm. hit the number plate. But no worries. We just uh, kitted ourselves off a bit because it's a bit chilly in that wind. Yeah, it's because we're on the coast on now. The beach. But we're just, just taking a little walk along the coast here towards uh, Leamington, um, towards the east. Leamington, it keeps saying West, Leamington. sorry. It's like Leamington Spa, it's Limington. Limington. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Before anyone says about the pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you keep correcting me, but I still don't remember. Anyway, yeah, we're just going to take a little walk because we can't do it tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to yeah, Stonehouse, aren't we? Yeah, we're yeah, going to Stonehouse for. Because Josh hasn't had all-you-can-eat breakfast yet with Granddad, he wants to go to all-you-can-eat breakfast. So I'm paying for Mum and Dad for Mother's Day and birthday. Yeah. So maybe Josh should pay for me for my Mother's Day. <laughs> it's only £5, isn't it? I don't mind. £5.99, but yeah. it's not actually that with a drink. That is good. Oh, that's anything. You don't get Yeah, you don't get, get all-you-can-eat you 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 yeah, you all breakfast, Josh. But a cup of tea is £2.39, but you can refill it. And filter coffee can refill it, but I know weather spoons. I think a coffee or tea is only about 99p, and you can refill it. It's the Isle of Wight. You can actually see the needles there. Yeah. Clear We'd love to go to the Isle of Wight one day because that is where a lot of our family come from. Yeah, I've never been there. Mm. As you can see, we are at the New Forest again, but still, the New Forest ponies do come down here, and I've seen photos of them on here, but there's none today. Yeah, but look at this tree. <laughs> All the shale and everything else washes away, but the only thing that gets left behind is the stick. Well, this tree is just the whole. This bank's gone, but it's still. Oh my! It's still got a root there. Look, mm. he's hanging on. Mm. He's hanging on for dear life. Something would have come in here and then taken something up this channel, which looks like it's been cut. And look at the banks with the sticks. Mm. That's been held back. So something's Arbitrary. been transported up there. Mm. There's a lot of early settlers. They make fire, couldn't they? An arrow kit. Someone wants to be bureaucratic with us. We are in between the double yellow lines. So, what's Mum doing? Playing on her tablet. Sorry, I'm playing on my tablet. Mm. She's got her little legs over the edge. No, uh, filled up. Fucking hell, that's cosy. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, new potatoes and sausages and something like that. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Yeah, it's just a piece of it. would be nice when we can cook outside and have a little kitchen yeah, outside. Yeah, another barbie. Yeah. Get one of those. It's got the, the engine ones. running because the power, power's a bit low. Because the power's a bit low because we have no fridge sun uses today. A lot. We have no sun. We're, char we're charging three lots of phones, three lots of tablets. And we haven't drove very far today. Yeah. It's coming up. 70%. Once I get it to a certain amount, I'll turn the engine off and we'll be right for the night. Oh, yeah. We're just going to have some dinner. And uh, not, not really a lot to film in the evenings here. Sometimes we sit round and have a game of Monopoly or no, we don't. Scrabble. <laughs> no room for that. I keep saying it would be nice if we had the long wheelbase one, but we didn't even be able to turn around here. Oh, yeah. we'd be stuck in a lot of places. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were really locked the number plate on. Reverse the, all the way back. Yeah. Um, fix the number plate. But um, yeah, we're just going to spend our last night here and then 
go to week and eat breakfast tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye. Next morning, we've uh, still stayed our third night in the van. Yep. And um, you know, I slept good again. What about you? I've shouted out that I was dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Dead! Oh, yeah. I keep having nightmares, but dead! I keep shouting out. Mm. But no, and the, the trouble is, when I read my book, Andy goes to sort of sleep while I read my book, so he starts snoring. It's not too bad when he's when he's gone to sleep and he's snoring. Yeah, in the middle of the night, I don't think he's gone. So I wasn't too bad. No, it's no, not that, as bad as I thought. That camper came down. I think he wanted to stay where we were, but now he can. Yeah, it's a good little spot down there, it's, if you can get in and put in and within the double yellow line. No one disturbed us. No, no, it was great. Oh, I know oh, that was about 10 o'clock. And the boy racer came down and s sat by the beach and then for about five, ten minutes and then sped off again. Yeah. Subscribe.